Moments with Dr. Greta brought to you by the Ashley Clinic in Chanute, Kansas. So, the cough. Not all coughs are created equal, and it's important this time of the year to second think these coughs because you've had them now for a few months, so you think you know what's going on. And maybe you do, but maybe you don't. So, what do we need to know about coughs? Well, the commonest coughs for our children are out of the nose. Yes, when we have a lot of increased nasal secretions and our nose holes are small, it doesn't drain right, and so then it gunks, and then when it hits the back of the throat, we cough. We have those from infections. Sometimes we have those from allergies, but this time of the year, more like infections, and we get those infections every few weeks. Yeah, so it's going to keep coming and coming and coming. Now, what's the next cause of cough? Well, sometimes people worry about pneumonia or something in the lower lung area. You oftentimes will put your hand on your little baby and you'll feel them vibrate and you'll think, oh my gosh, they've got a pneumonia. Well, children under age two vibrate pretty much all the time from the upper airway noise. Yes. So you can't always go by vibration in children under two to think that they have a pneumonia. Now, what's a third cause? Well, have you heard of that GERD, gastroesophageal reflux? Often our little kids will erp up a lot, and when they do, it irritates their throat, and then they can cough. Now, people who have asthma, old people, you know, we're talking about adult folks, they can have asthma issues that can cause reflux as well. But reflux will cause you to cough. So we want you to just be aware of that. So the important thing is don't assume you know it all. Ask your doctor, keep track of your kids, and ask all the questions you can. Call with fever or not eating and give that kid a hug.